Hello and welcome. In this video, I will show you how to fix a simulation error that is very common if you don't know what simulation files go into PSPICE. All right, we're using ORCAD Capture. I'm using version 17.4. This pretty much applies to 17.2, maybe version 16 as well. So I tried simulating this circuit here. This is the circuit for the main device, the ISL7884X family of, of uh, controllers for switching circuits. Now, when I try to run a simulation and choose Run PSPICE, this error shows up. And the error says, okay, yeah, and the error says, uh, What's the error? It shows that it's missing a certain library. So if I look for, um, there we go. Simulation cannot be completed because library here, it's looking for this library nom.lib and it's not available. So how do we fix this? Well, the reason this is a problem is because it's looking for an old nom, it's looking for the nom lib in a folder that we do not have. It doesn't exist. I'm using version 17. So I have to minimize this, edit the simulation profile by clicking on this icon. Now, if you don't have that icon or it doesn't look familiar, you can go to PSPICE, edit simulation profile, and you'll get the same thing. Then go to your configuration files and library. Next, you want to replace this nom.lib with this one. Yeah. Um, let's edit this. And of course, it couldn't find the file. So let's browse, find the nom.lib file. Now, notice here, nom.lib already exists as a global parameter, but for whatever reason, it needs to find that specific one. In version 16 let's try to replace it and see if that will trick it into simulating tools piece by library and you just look for the norm element yeah there you go also norm d dot lib i would consider adding but anyway click open and add to the design now I'm going to select this and get rid of it. Click apply, then OK. Now simulate it. Go to PSPICE, run. It's performing a transient analysis. Now I downloaded this uh, just as for some background. I downloaded this circuit from the company's website, which is from Renesas, R-E-N-E-S-A-S, -E -E and this is for their ISL 788-4X uh, family of chip devices. So just look up any chip that's similar uh, with that part number or any device. This is the same process or procedure. Download their simulation files, open the .opj file in ORCAD Capture, right? If you don't know what I'm talking about, you go to ORCAD Capture, you download the files, extract the files, and then you would do like a file open project, and then you search for the project, your OPJ, and then all of this stuff opens up here. So let's see if this is done simulating. Yes, it is. We're at 100% at the bottom, and this is what it looks like. It finished the simulation in two milliseconds uh, runtime. Well, yeah, not in two milliseconds, but the, the runtime is two milliseconds on the X axis here. And it looks pretty good. So the question is, why is this voltage so low? I put a probe on here, and that's because we're dealing with the startup circuit. So the application is for some kind of startup, seeing what happens during the startup condition, seeing if the startup for the circuit, if it spikes, if it does something weird, and if it evens out during startup mode. So they sort of force the voltage on here zero volts. Now, what do you do when you have this kind of circuit? What, what this will do is simulate the root schematic 
Yeah. What you'll want to do is change what you're simulating. So you can choose from this little drop down menu here. You can choose the app transient or test test. Okay. Maybe if we go with transient, it will show us what's going on here. All right. So it's trying to change it. There we go. App transient shows up at the top of the hierarchy. All right. So let's simulate the transient uh, profile. Hit run or P spice run. Now what's happening is the simulation is running. So that's good. It's got your percentage on the bottom here and you just have to wait. The startup looks good. Here we have the, the simulation is still going and it's plotting it like it's plotting the output every so many steps and it's done. All right. This V out, we see here it's 11.75 volts and going down and decreasing below 11.5. And then this is the output current when it steps up. This is the load of the device when it steps, when you step the load to see the response of the circuit, the, of the controller. I want to change the scale on this simulation, on this plot. So I would choose to right click this. And I'll click on the scale here. Ah, so go to plot axis settings. And will user define this? Say maybe mm, uh, the y axis. There we go. We'll set it to mm, maybe 0 volts to 12.5 volts. And then click OK. Now we see the voltage. If you want to tighten that up, you can set up to maybe 9 volts. So you click on here. And how do we know that this plot is selected at the top? Well, you when you click on the top here, the select double arrows shows up. And then you do plot axis settings, y axis, so on and so forth, right? Then you can change it to 9 volts. Notice here when we step the the load. Now, what do I mean by the load? This is the output load, like a, a constant current source that changes. Now, the constant current source could just be a resistor, pretty much a resistive load, and we we decide how much we're pulling based on the step change here. So, when we pull more current, all of a sudden the current demand goes up, the voltage drops to meet the amount of power that the, the circuit is rated for it drops down to here and then it continues to go down this feedback controller is pretty decent it doesn't take the voltage too low and that's it pretty much so if you want to do more there's this circuit here called the test circuit so this is where they would do their testing how do you make these multiple schematics? You can always just right click a new schematic and then, you know, it's called schematic one or whatever by default. Then you right click, make a new page within that schematic. It'll give it a default name. And then you could play with, you can duplicate the circuit, copy the circuit, paste it on the new page, change some things here and there. And then if you want to simulate this specific circuit, you would create a new simulation profile, uh, PSPICE new simulation profile, name it. You can make it inherit properties from a certain profile. And more importantly, you want to right click and make this the root folder. I know that's a lot of information all at once, but I just wanted to answer a few questions you might have if you want to do this yourself. If you do have any further questions, you know, you can, you can message me. Well, you can email me 
or leave your comments and questions below. All right, thanks for watching.